guys and welcome back to Mates Me Online. So today I'm going to be doing my media favourites of 2016 films and TV shows and like gadgety things. First part which is my beauty favourites. Um, I've never actually done it. I think I did a music, top music favourites of 2012 which was really cringy. I watched it earlier reacting to old videos video if you'd like that. But um, yeah so I'm just going to get it off with apps. Now I got a new phone this year, and this is honestly the best iPhone I've had. I think I've had about four, I've had four iPhones. I got the iPhone 6 this year, which is old now, like the iPhone 7, iPhone 6s, but literally, I bought this in February, I think I got this. So I've had it for almost a year, and I love it. And I'm going to tell you about the apps that I like. So I start off with social media, so obviously Facebook being one, I check Facebook daily. I'm always sharing stuff on Facebook two for free on wi-fi instagram which you can add me on it is one love is all we need no capitals no spaces but i've been i've been loving instagram this year like i've been an avid instagram user for about two years but then i've just been really getting into it this year i uploaded a picture today social media though has got to be snapchat i'm always snapchatting i check it daily i check all of mine daily but I'm really loving it. My name is one underscore love nineteen ninety nine. I'll put it in the description. I'll, I always put my social media in the description, but Snapchat is a good app. Twitter. Now, I when I first got Twitter, I got Twitter before I got anything else. Like, I had a YouTube account. This is I had Twitter way before I was uploading, and um, they've just updated it, and I don't I'm not, don't really like it. But um, my name is at blues one love, and I've been using it quite a lot this year to tweet you know I use it to retweet things so love that because I was playing this so much like at the beginning like at uh, uh, the middle of the year Pokemon Go I joined that trend I played Pokemon Go a lot and now I don't really bother about it but like I, I wanted to include it because I was playing it for about three months and I have two music apps the first one is Spotify I got Spotify Premium in November and I literally love it so much, like Spotify, brilliant, the music, which is similar to Spotify but because in our house we have Amazon Prime, I have a lot more, I, I'm using this more now, but I have a November slash December playlist, lots of songs on there, that would probably be full size photo, which I edit a lot of my um, Instagram videos on, but the others are mainly my main apps that I've loved. Phone. Pro this year. Now I've literally wanted a MacBook Pro since I was about 10 and I'm 18, like 10 months. Um, but yeah, so I've wanted one for a long time. This is my MacBook Pro. It's the um, white, it's the grey MacBook Pro um, 13 inch one with the disc drive. Um, and I got this case for Christmas, but I love it. I love my MacBook. Um, literally the best investment, um, I think. But I really love my MacBook, so that would be my other gadget favourite. Now I'm going to do um, TV shows and films. I have two, this category, which are kind of similar. But before I get onto that, um, TV shows that really point out to me, apart from the one I'm going to show in a minute, would probably be Geordie Shaw, but I liked that until Charlotte left. I still have been watching the new series, but I'm not that keen, but that was sort of my favourite until like May, June for a TV show. Now this is old. This is like 15 years old. No one watches this show anymore, but I do. The Office. This, this thing, The Office, is my favourite TV show. And I could watch it, like literally, I probably sat and binge watched The Office. With times, like once or twice, I've seen every episode. This is the box set, I got the box set for Christmas because until then, I was watching the really bad quality one on YouTube, and it was it was tragic. But if you don't know what The Office is about, it's based around a guy called David Brent, uh, brilliant, brilliant, played by Ricky Gervais, who has probably been my favourite like actor, comedian, person of the year. And oh my god, amazing show! And I don't like the American one. Like when I talk to people about The Office, they're always like like kids my age. They're always like, 
the American one is so much better, and I'm just like, really? But this is the special edition uh, box set, David Brent, favourite, favourite TV show, favourite, favourite person, and yeah, this one, favourite TV show, has been David Brent Life on the Road, which is the film that came out this year, this is what got me into David Brent, so thanks dad if you're watching. He took me and my mum to see this, and obviously they'd seen The Office. I'd never seen it before. I've done a review of it, but yeah, you've heard me talk about this a lot if you follow me on Instagram and stuff, um, Twitter and that. But, favourite, 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 favourite film. Not just of 2016, but of all time. Like, this is my favourite. I love it. And apart from this, my other favourite TV show that Ricky Gervais has done would probably be An Idiot Abroad, but I've only been like a proper Ricky Gervais fan for about three months, and it hasn't been that long, but love this. Um, I went to see uh, David Brent's band, Foregone Conclusion, at the end of the month, December. I did a video of it, and yeah, so love that. We do some stand-up in... March, so I'm very excited. I'm going to his humanity stand up. I'm very excited. Um, I got a lot of like Ricky Gervais DVDs for Christmas. If you watch my Christmas haul, and I'll be doing a Ricky Gervais collection maybe at some point. I need to review The Office. I haven't done that yet, but I will do. Okay, the last media items are albums. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna kind of do them in an order, but not really. I'm going to do my favourite, and um, Shock Horror, my favourite album of this year, or last year, depending, you know, how you're thinking. Fact. This, my favourite album of the year, <laughs> this is David Brent, Life on the Road. But, yeah. This is also an album, this is obviously David Brent, and foregone conclusion. Um, favourite album of the year. It's very rare, like, all of these albums I could listen to all the way through, but, like, not like I can with this. Like, if you remember when I went through, you know, listening to Dappy's album on repeat one over and over again, this is like that, but worse. I've reviewed this album, um, uh, reviewed it about three weeks ago, um, and love it. My favourite songs, I'm going to tell you my favourite songs, Native American. Native American is my favourite song. Like, it used to be Slough, but it's not anymore. It's Native American. And then uh, Free Love Freeway, other favourite. Lonely Cowboy is my other favourite. And Equality Street. Brilliant. I also got the songbook for Christmas, and I'm currently learning how to play Free Love Freeway on guitar, so if I learn how to play that, I can do a, a cover of that. But, um... CDs in my CD player, I love this, so these sort of coincide together. I uh, Get Weird by Little Mix, which came out in 2015, but well, I've been listening to it a lot this year. Um, my favourite songs are The End, um, Hair, and Adidas. But yeah, I love this album, um, I listen to it quite a lot in the summer, it was like my summer album. Yeah, I like this album a lot. Um, this is Glory Days. Uh, this came out in November, so quite late. But um, this is literally the best album they've ever done. This is the CD and DVD collection edition. Um, but yeah, I have it signed by them as well, which is pretty cool. But it's got a DVD as well. So, great album. Songs from the Little Mix album would probably be Shout Out To My Ex. Touch and you got an all play ones because I became an official Coldplay fan. Like, how I love David Brent is like up here. Coldplay are close to like there. I, I love Coldplay. See them in July. Very excited. That's going to be so magical. Pick one. So I decided to pick two, but I've been loving all of them. Uh, a Head Full of Dreams, which is their latest album, which came out last December 2015 still in the charts, it's still, you know, quite, you know, everyone's still buying it, um, and I love it, and my favourite songs from here would probably be A Head Full of Dreams, Him for the Weekend, like Army of One, which was my favourite from the first moment I listened to this album, straight away, 
and I also really like the hidden track in that song, X Marks the Spot, great. And of course, Adventure of a Lifetime. I say this now because I liked it when I first heard it, at the, the, the end of 2015. And then I played it for about five months, it's overplayed, and it's one of those that I kind of skip now, but that's one of my favourites. And then I really like Up and Up. And I loved their set at Glastonbury this year as well, that was amazing. Coldplay favourite album is Milo Xyloto. Um, this is about four or five years old now, but I love it. Uh, my favourite song is Major Minus, which is amazing live. I also have got the 2012 live when they toured this. And I also really like Hurts Like Heaven and Every Teardrop is a Waterfall. So that's my low Zylo tone. Last album I have to show is 24 Hours by Olly Murs. Now this came out in November and love it. And um, it's definitely his best album, I think. And I'm seeing him in March as well. It's Ricky Gervais. I'm seeing them both. And um, I'm seeing him tour this album, which I'm really excited about. My favourite song is Back Around, and I also really like Grow Up, which is like the second single, and 24 Hours, so I really like this album. This is just the standard one, because I didn't get the deluxe, but love it. Are my media favourites of 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, and make sure to subscribe to be notified when my next video is out. Please leave your video requests in the comments, because I'd love to know what you guys would love to see, and... I hope you have a great 2017 and hopefully bigger and better videos. So I will see you guys in my next one.